Good morning students. Today we are continuing our third lesson arithmetic progression. In last le lecture we seen that how to find the ask term of given arithmetic progression. Today we are going on sum of first n terms of AP. Sum of first n terms sum for s and n term means n then it is denoted by the symbol sn now for this which is the formula sn is equal to n upon 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 multiply by d all the terms meaning is same sn means sum of first n term n means number of terms a is first term and n is number of term d is common difference whether a and d which is the number means what is the meaning of that in p and nth term same is here a means first term d means common difference n means number of term and sn means sum of n terms now here when a d and n given then we are using this formula now if in a given ap first term and last term first term is a and last term is denoted by letter L is known then we are using the second formula Sn is equal to n upon 2 into bracket A plus L. Maximum cases we are using our first formula only but if last term is given and how many terms are those means 10 terms 15 terms like that if you know then only we can use here this second formula also. Then remember these are the two formulas to find their sum of n now, this depending on this formula, there are the sums given in practice set 3.3. We are taking our first sum. What the given there? See, first term and common difference of the AP are 6 and 3 respectively. Then find S27. First term is denoted by letter A. A is equal to 6. Common difference is denoted by letter D equal to 3. We want to find here S27. Here S27 means we are using the formula of Sn. Therefore, here written the formula Sn is equal to n upon 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. S27 equal to 27 upon 2 because n value is 27. Then 27 upon 2 into bracket 2 into 6 plus 27 minus 1 into 3. 27 upon 2 as it is, first solving the bracket, 2 6 is 12 plus 27 minus 1 means 26 multiply by 3. Again 27 upon 2 as it is, 12 plus 26 3 is 78. 27 upon 2 multiply by 12 plus 78 means 90. Then here 2 divide to 90, then you get 45, then 27 multiply by 45 that is 1, 2, 1, 5 and therefore here sum of 27 terms of this AP is 1215. Now see the second sum. Find the sum of first 123 even natural number. Now see they given first 123 even natural number. You know that natural number are starting from 1 but is 1 is even number? No. Then which is the first even natural number? 2. And even number difference is again 2. And therefore 2, 4, 6, 8 like that the sequence of even natural number will form. They didn't given which is the last natural number there. Last even natural number. And therefore we will consider A is equal to 2. Common difference D is equal to also 2. Because 4 minus 2 also 2. 6 minus 4 also 2. Number of terms. How many number terms sum we want to find? 123. Therefore, n is equal to 123. Then again use the formula. Sn is equal to n upon 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And fill the values. S 123. Because 123 is number sums we want to find. Therefore, S 123 equal to 123 upon 2 inside the bracket 2 into value of a is 2 plus 123 minus 1 multiply by common difference d also 2. Outside 123 upon 2 as it is solving bracket 2 2 are 4 plus 123 minus 1 means 122 multiply by 2. 123 upon 2 again as it is 
4 plus 122 2s are 244. 244 plus 4 means 248. When 248 is divided by 2, you will get 124. Then 123 upon 123 multiplied by 124, you will get 15,252. Means here S123 is 15,252. That is the sum of first 123 even natural number is 15,252. In both the cases, we use the same formula. In first case, A and D given. In second case, they given a sequence. With that, we found A, D and N and then only solve. See now sum number 3. Find the sum of all even numbers between 1 to 350. Now remember here the word between is very important. All even numbers between 1 to 350. That is 1 is also not included. 350 also not included in between that which are the even number those we want to take. Then after 1 which is the first even number will come 2. 2, 4, 6 like that. 350 not included. 349 is not a even number. Then before that 348. That is our even number sequence between 1 to 350 is 2, 4, 6 dot 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 up to 348. Now here value of A is 2. Value of D is also 2. Tn is equal to 348. Here Tn means our last term. But which number 348 term? We don't know. And therefore we want to find here value of N. What we want to find first? N. Then A value you have. 2 D value you have. And Tn also. Then use Tn formula first. Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Tn value is 348 equal to 2 plus n minus 1 into d value is 2. Here n is unknown. That's you remember. 348 plus 2 goes to left hand minus equal to n minus 1 into 2. Then 348 minus 2 means 346 equal to n minus 1 in, up into 2. n minus 1 equal to 346 multiplied to come here and divide. 346 upon 2 means 173 and minus 1 come here and plus that is n is equal to 174. Then here first you want to find the value of n and then only we are going on the sum. Now use the formula of Sn there. Sn is equal to n upon 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Then S174 equal to. Now you know the formula how to fill, fill the value. According to that we are filling 174 upon 2 into bracket 2 into 2 plus 174 minus 1 into 2. 174 can be divisible by 2 and you get 87. Then 87 equal to 87 into bracket 2 to 4 plus 174 minus 1 means 173 into 2. 87 inside the bracket 4 plus 173 to 346. 346 plus 4 means 350 and 87 multiplied by 350 means 30,450. Means here the sum of all even numbers between 1 to 350 is 30,450. That's you remember here first. When we are solving, we want to read the sum carefully there. Between word is there means we are not including 1 and 350 there. Now see sum number 4. It is somewhat different and 3 marks sum there. In an AP, 19th term is 52 and 38th term is 128. Then find sum of first 56 here for AP first term we are considering A and common difference is D. Then they given to us T19, 19th term means T19 is 52, T38 is 128. Now use the formula for Tn because T value they given. Then Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. We don't know the value of A, we don't know the value of D. We know T19 and T38 means N value you know. Then first we will find by putting the value of N19, T19 equal to A plus 19 minus 1 into D. T19 value we have 52. Then 52 equal to A plus 19 minus 1 means 18, 18D. 
therefore our first equation becomes here a plus 18 d equal to 52 also t38 second term the given t38 means we are putting the value of n is t38 in our pn formula then t38 equal to a plus 38 minus 1 into d but t38 value the given to us 128 then 128 equal to a plus 37 d that is a plus 37 d equal to 128 is our second equation now add both equations when you are adding we will write it is linear equation in two variable then one below other we will write and a plus a 2a 18d plus 37d you are getting 55d and 52 plus 128 you will get 180 then here sn is equal to n upon 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into d our sn formula then fill the value here 56 upon 2 into bracket 2a plus 56 minus 1 into d 56 upon 2 means 28 into bracket 2a plus 55d now remember which bracket you get here 2a plus 55d but its value you have in equation third or not yes what is that value 180 then 28 multiply by 180 from third we are putting the value of 2a plus 55d and you will get here 5040 is the total answer of s17 remember here s56 not s17 sn value that is s56 you are getting 5040 remember in this case we are finding the relation between tn and sn now here first term they are giving t19 second term they given t38 and they are asking s56 you want to find the relation between 19 and 38 after adding you are getting the num nearer number to 56 or after subtracting 19 plus 38 when you are taking you will get it is 57 and 57 is near to 56 and therefore only we will add here equation 1 and 2 if after subtraction you are getting here the related number then you may subtract the answer but now here by adding you get therefore only here we add first and second to find the third answer and then only we are putting it into the SN formula. Sometimes they are giving SN value first and asking TN value at that time also we are using same type of relation there. Remember this and try to practice these sums, copy down this sum and remaining sums you solve.